this mod it's a pretty disgusting one and one of the weirdest mods i've ever come across what's going on guys welcome back to fall for mods for the ps4 guys yes we are back another video i literally just said yesterday in a video that i wasn't going to be posting too much of fallout 4 mods for the time being but for right now i found some mods and i really wanted to do a commentary so it's a win-win let's just jump straight into it so the first mod is called glowing hancock for the ps4 and it's by crazy mammoth and it requires the nuka world dlc and you could obviously see straight off the bat there he is right in front of me where'd he go right there uh it turns him into a glowing you know obviously hancock is a ghoul but it just makes him glow and honestly i prefer this like he seems way more badass in my personal opinion than him without the glow like i honestly am gonna stick with this mod um because i really didn't like bringing hancock around with me i don't know i just as a person i mean he's a cool character but i don't know something about it i just didn't like his regular ghoulification look but but right here, this looks way better, and like I said, I'm more likely to bring him around. So, at nighttime, he glows way more, that's why I'm showing it off at night, obviously. And during the day, you'll still see the glow, but he it's, it's just, it's not too visible. So, I think that's pretty cool, you have a glow-in-the-dark creature following you around, this nasty, look at him, look at this nasty creature. Anyway, though, that's pretty much it for this mod, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's kill that thing right there. Oh, God, he, alright, he went flying. Well, let's take a look at the next mod. Now next up, we're gonna go over to my settlement just to easily show off this mod. It's a pretty disgusting one and one of the weirdest mods I've ever come across and it makes no sense at all and it's pointless. It's called Poop Hole Shooter for the PS4 and it's by Chad Person. Now you can see right here there's a new spot that you can lock onto and right there it says it. Let's see it again. It says Poop Hole. You can literally shoot people in their poop hole. Now I literally see absolutely no point to this mod. It is one of the most weird weirdest and pointless mods out there, but it's been added to the humans of the game. If you want to shoot a human in their, in their poop hole, you now can. So yeah, a very weird and pointless mod. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense at all, and the chance to hit the poop hole is three, but there you go. If you want to shoot them in their poop hole, you now can. Next up, we have Exclamation Simple Sorting Mod, and it's by Lost Tarot, or Lost Tarot, however you want to pronounce it, uh, and pretty much what it does is, in your miscellaneous section, it adds short tags in brackets to better sort your inventory. It removes weight from quest items and makes sure they won't be scrapped. So as you can see right here, it goes down the list, so from the top to the bottom, at the top we have hashtags for the tools, so obviously bobby pins are used as tools, so those will be at the top, then we have for the currency or valuables we have a dollar sign and then after that for the collectible it'll be marked as a plus sign so going down you could see they have plus signs right there and for the hack hollow tapes there's an up little arrow after that for the pip boy games there's a little squiggly line which i forgot the name of and then for the notes and hollow tapes and everything else that's regular those aren't marked or anything and then sorted at the very bottom we have the exclamation marks which are for the quest items and then after that we have the little stars over there or the asterisks i think and those are for the keys so yeah that's pretty much it for the mod it's very convenient if you're trying to sort through your miscellaneous and yeah that's really all it does it's an easier way to sort your miscellaneous section i've always wanted something like this and I'm really surprised that I haven't found this mod sooner because I'm sure it's been out for a really long time and I'm gonna stick with this mod forever like this is a really great mod and I would highly recommend you guys check this one out and yeah that's pretty much it for this one guys let's take a look at the next mod and finally guys the last mod we have is called Shezri's Loft and it's by Shezri and to find it all you have to do is uh, fast travel or come over to the Cabot house right here you can see that's the Cabot house and uh, the actual player home is going to be right here go through the door and let's check this out so inside of here going to the left in this first room we have some empty trunks and a power armor station right there you can't access that door there is nothing there let's go up into the main loft itself though uh, going through the door you can see this is the place now I'll get to the exits in a second there are two one leads to a balcony and one the rooftop but over here we have themed storages we have a drinks cabinet right there there's a jukebox 
box, a magazine rack, and going into the kitchen, there are static objects all throughout this place, um, and that's what I love about Chesri's player home mods. They always have those static objects, so you can't bump into them and they'll go flying. It'll just stay there, so it'll look nice and neat and organized. Uh, but anyway, we have a spot to put the sweet rolls and just a sink, and this you could take the cooking oil if you want to take that. Uh, we have a cooking stove right there, though, and this. Don't spawn stuff in the trash can because it'll respawn, so it'll delete your stuff. So you could literally throw things away, but everything else saves what you could put inside of it. So you could place things, for instance, in the omelet section, and it will stay there forever. Now, there are themed storages in the fridge. You have the cooked meat, the beer, the Salisbury steak, and all that stuff. There's a radio. You could turn that on. Going inside of here, we have a bathroom downstairs. You could take the toilet tank cover and move it to the side. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a trash can right there and a sink and a mirror. Nothing else too special to look at inside of there. Let's go inside of here. Now, this is a storage area for the food stuff, so you can see there's a sign right there. Uh, theme storage is for every single thing you see inside of here. If you want to store things in there, you can. And, uh, yes, yeah, spots for your produce as well. If you want to store your produce inside of these, you can. And that's pretty much it for this room. Now, going around inside of here, there is a note on the table. We could read this, and it tells you some backstory about the place. So the 22nd of November, hey, Jack, can't make it over tonight. Got to go head out to Hardware Town and grab some more paint and tools. My apartment is starting to show its age again. Hardware Town should be full of tools and supplies, so it will be a worthwhile trip. Yes, I know you said there were raiders taking up that part of town, but it's not like I have a choice. Diamond City won't let any of us ghouls in anymore. Got to get me one of those sentry bots like yours. That thing killed another bunch of raiders last night that were trying to get in here. Hoping to make it back in two days. If not, then assume the worst. But I am a tough old ghoul. Survive the bombs so a few raiders won't stop me. Your old neighbor and friend, Martin. And yeah, Martin never came back apparently, so there you go. That's the story of the old owner of this place. Uh, we have some drawers right there. You could store your clothes in the middle one right there if you would like to. Again, some more storage spots and a bobblehead stand right there. Now, this window you can go out of and it will lead to Beacon Hill, the balcony. So let's check it out right now. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it, a balcony view. Uh, you can click back on the window to go back inside, but yeah, that's it. You literally just have a balcony out here. Um, now, to note, about this player home, you cannot go into workshop mode. I do want to point that out. But let's go back inside and check out the rest of the place. So now we're back inside and we're going to look back around. Now, I do like this little touch right here. We got some uh, ferns or plants or whatever growing inside. You got them lit up. So I like that little design choice right there. It looks really nice. But we're going to go up here and check out this room right here, which is the main bedroom. And uh, yeah, a thing to note about the other mod too is that when you're going to, and I didn't point this out, but when you're actually going to loot, you can see there is the dollar sign right there for the bottle caps. So I think that's a pretty cool feature as well. So you got that right there. Uh, this is is the main bed over here as you can see um, and you have a clothing spot right there we have a safe for you to store items in a dresser right there and you could store your hats in that middle green suitcase right there if you want to as well now let's check out the bathroom upstairs and here again the toilet tank cover can be moved that's that's very interesting <laughs> but anyway trash can nothing else too important in here you know just got the essentials you got a bathroom so that's pretty cool anyway going out of here and checking out the next room inside of here we have the washing machine room so you got that right there a dresser a dryer and if you want to take this laundered denim dress you can and that's pretty much it for this room now going upstairs into the final room we have the workshop area pretty much so this is where you're going to be making and crafting your armor and weapons and uh, yeah we have again themed storages for your weapons right here all of your weapons can be stored in those themed spots as well as your ammo for over here we have themed ammo storages as well for the mini nukes and everything like that and the mini nukes right there are actually very very mini right there but anyway over here we have themed storages for your drugs your chems right there that's uh that's that's that right there pretty much and we have a chemistry station over here a trunk which is empty you could put anything you want inside of that uh and then over here we have the uh the sick bay for your meds right here store them in there if you would like to over here we have storage for your armor if you want to put them inside of those as well as just another trunk right there 
that's pretty much it for this place but going out we have where is it right here another exit to the roof so let's check this out and finally on the roof you can see this is where we are there's a tato planter right there a mute fruit planter and this is the roof you can hang out and relax on here and uh, yeah just taking the sights of the overpass right there and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it guys uh, you got a loft of a home and uh, yeah I just wanted to put out a quick video like I said guys I wanted to do a commentary really bad today I was in the mood and uh, yeah once again guys thank you so very much for watching go in the description and please follow me on Twitter it would mean a lot to me I mean I always give you guys updates on there on what's going on with the channel and I might do more follow-up videos soon I don't know like I said though in that last update video I'm probably not going to be posting as much Fallout 4 mod videos at least within the next few weeks because I've been working on a bunch of different projects but for right now I had the time and I wanted to do it because I found a bunch of mods I was browsing the categories and I was like you know what let's give them a mod video and here you go guys that's pretty much it so uh, once again guys thank you guys so much for watching check out the new series that I'm doing with my friend it'll be on my Twitter and I'll put it in the description of this if you guys want to check it out it would mean a lot to me it's a fun brand new battle royale style style series that we're doing on a game that isn't a battle royale game so it's a pretty cool take on certain things i would really recommend checking it out guys anyway though i'm gonna get out of here thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out